another car for another review. And this car in particular <laughs> is the latest version of the Isuzu D-Max. It's the seventh generation. It's not brand new. It did come out a little bit over a year ago already. But I'm still excited to get to know this guy and see what it has to offer. My test car is the 3 liter turbo diesel LSE 4x4 and yes, it is a double cab. Um, it's just below the top of the range V-Cross and a fun fact or just a fact um, this is one of 24 D-Max derivatives to choose from which is a lot if you're like me I'm indecisive I can ma handle three three choices max on the outside the front is quite eye-catching I think the grille and the new headlights are quite striking I like the use of sharp lines and corners that you'll see all over the design of the front and then to top it off it has really cool looking LED daytime running lights. This D-Max rides on 18 inch diamond cut alloy wheels. The back of the D-Max is mostly unchanged. You get LED taillights and the bars that go from the roof to the, to the loading bay, I don't know what you call them, they're chrome as standard and you get a standard tow bar which is quite cool. The most wow change for me is definitely the interior. This is probably the most premium looking Isuzu interior that I have seen. And dare I say it, it looks kind of elegant as well. From the stylish steering wheel to the middle console with a big touch screen, these leather seats are comfortable. Everything feels very well built and like it will last, like no squeaky sounds. I was also quite surprised with how comfortable the back seats are, which you, which you would think is quite obvious, but it isn't always. A lot of vehicles, the back seats are, feel a little bit neglected, but not your same comfort that you get in the front. You get a little, the middle part flips down with two cup holders. There's a USB port back there, so you can charge your phone, your iPad, your vape. You have air vents. So let's talk features. Starting with the infotainment system, nice big touchscreen. The infotainment system itself is a meh, it's nothing special. Responsiveness is really good and you get wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And I think that's kind of all that you need. Like if that, you have that, you're sorted. The D-Max LSE also has quite a few safety features. You get blind spot warnings, front and rear parking sensors, a reverse park camera, cross traffic alert at the when you're reversing, uh, emergency brake hazard lights. With the Bucky, I always kind of expect the ride to be a little bit more stiff and bumpy than like a sedan or whatever car. But the D-Max, I must say, like absorbs bumps and things in the road quite well and it's a comfortable drive. There is some noise coming into the cabin from the engine, but I kind of like that in a Bucky. It adds to the whole vibe for me. And Isuzu has this distinct sound when it's idling or rumbling. Like, I remember it from when I was little, riding in much older Isuzu Buckies. And it, I don't know, it reminds me of those times, which is also like a nice thing. I've mostly been driving the D-Max in the narrow streets of Cape Town. And it is surprisingly, easy to maneuver um, parking is a different story but you have all your parking sensors in your reverse camera and all the beeping which helps it's annoying but it does it does help but i did get to take it off road this weekend because i had to go and film some content for this review and you can tell that the d-max is just so at home off road i even had to engage the four wheel drive to get up some rough terrain it was so easy felt effortless to to the Bucky. Just some quick engine specs. This Bucky is powered by a three liter, four cylinder turbo diesel engine, produces 140 kilowatts of power and 450 newton meters of torque. Um, and that is all paired and connected to a six speed automatic gearbox. The fuel consumption is claimed at 7.9 liters per 100 kilometers, but I am sitting on about 10.2 and I don't see that going down, but still not bad for a three liter Bucky. The D-Max three liter turbo diesel 4x4 LSE is priced just over 810,000 Rand, and that does sound like a lot of money, and it is. 
um, but it is on par with its rivals like the Ford Ranger, the Toyota Hilux of course, and VW Amarok. The thing about Bucky owners is they really brand loyal. They come back for the nostalgia of it and they want to have something that they know. Like, like I mentioned earlier, this the D-Max has a sound, that little rumble it has. And to me, the interior has like an Isuzu smell and I might be making that up in my head, but I feel like I, it really does. And it's still a Bucky. You know, it's ready for action. It's ready to go off-road. You don't feel so precious about it um, that you don't want to drive it into the bush or fucking over a mountain or wherever. And that's what I kind of like about it.